day, good evening, good night, everybody. The Ever Canadian here, back with another Is It Playable on the Steam Deck. And we got a game that I really thought long and hard would I even want to try this on the Steam Deck. It is Baldur's Gate 3. Yes, it is just entered. I think it's in really early access right now with a release date pending. I've heard so much about this game, but I was, I have a little bit of trepidation about this game just because it is one of those massive RPG games. I am a huge fan of the first Baldur Gate, Baldur Gate 2, but they really need mouse and keyboard in my mind to play. And I'm like, should I try this on the Steam Deck? And I'm like, don't be scared, Pete. That's what it's playable. It's all about. So here is the yellow exclamation um, playable thing here. So pretty straightforward. If you're new to the channel, this is what it's playable is all about. I have a stock Steam Deck. I will only ever run in compatibility and Proton Experimental if I can't get a game running. But basically, this is my experience from clicking play right through. Sometimes it's fun. It's easy. Sometimes games are much more playable than they first appear. Sometimes they're just broken. Uh, and a lot of times I can't even get them to boot and you don't ever see those videos <laughs> if I can't get them to boot because, you know, I just won't do a video on it yet. But um, maybe I can do some shorts on it. I don't know. So before we start and hit that play button, well, I'll just we'll hit it right now and cross our fingers. Um, I want to thank all the channel members uh, that are members of my channel. Thank you so much for your support. Everybody, if you feel like subscribing now or at the end of the video, if the content was worth it, go right ahead. But I'm really interested in you getting in the comments and let me know what you think. So usually an initial boot on these games, sometimes they're really quick, sometimes they're really long. So this game was developed for Windows and Mac platform. Um, so it's not a native Steam game. So you can see it's installing a Microsoft DirectX script. So uh, once this is done, I'll click back. I don't really want you waiting a pile of time here. Um, and ooh, okay, so this is sometimes in the playable series where we get a lot of problems, um, this loading screen, but it seems like it's doing its best to come through here now and we're going to get started. So we do have a game launcher, so that's always trouble. So we press get started and I'm going to create an account and log right in. Okay. Okay. I've entered in my username and password at a create an account and now I'm logging in. Let's get some volume going here. NVIDIA game works. Okay, and here it is, Baldur's Gate 3. Um, again, uh, a lot of trepidation here because I don't think it has native controller support, even though this is supposed to be coming out for consoles. So that's a kind of a big miss I find I, with uh, PC games that have console ports. A lot of times they just ignore the console controls in the PC version, assuming that most people don't use controller on a PC, which I think it's getting less and less that kind of assumption. Like for me, I really enjoy playing a lot of PC games, especially on my deck and, you know, I want console control. So the big test in the playable series, whenever we get in there, hey, first of all, does it crash? Does it have issues? And yeah, I'm running this off my SD card, by the way, and it looks like it crashed out. There you go. Okay, we'll go through this one more time. Round two, fight. So I've got it using Vulcan. Maybe I should do it direct X. So it just assumed Vulcan as an auto. It was defaulted there. So we shall see if we can get past this. Okay, so start button work there. So it seems like we're not able to uh, get past this screen. And then if not, I'll run it in compatibility mode and see if that helps it out. Or direct X11. But I'll try a bunch of stuff. But again, running off SD card here. Um, pretty sure it crashed out again. Not totally sure what's going on here. This is where it crashed out last time. The game counter uncover with Vulcan Air. All right, so let's try DirectX. Okay, I'm now running in uh, DirectX and compatibility mode because I had an unrecoverable Vulcan error. So this is very interesting. So now I've noticed some people on the Steam Deck will have uh, issues if they're run from SD card or from the SSD internal. So if I can't get it running on the SSD, I'll just move it over to the uh, SD card. Uh, sorry, on the if I can't get it working on the SD card, I'll move it over to the SSD card and see if I can get it working. Uh, but it does have yellow exclamation, so it is playable. But like, what does that mean really, right? 
All right, so we haven't gotten this far before. Press any key to continue. All right, big first test. Hit a button, kind of initiate something. Yes, let's do cross save for sure. So this game, what I, little I know of it, it is apparently like a, uh, 75 to 100 hours for the single player. But yeah, I mean, hey, when's the last time we got this type of game out, right? Okay. Okay, so go use over a new game. Multiplayer, new game, we just don't want to do. Oh, what's this? Sorry. So, so sticks is not working to do menu. Graphics. Oh, options. You can do options up here. So, okay, let's take a look at the graphics option. So the text is extremely small. So this is what we got here. User options. It's very hard just to see the screen here. Oh, it brings up the keyboard when I do that. Yeah, it brings up the keyboard when I do that. So that's pretty weird. <laughs> okay. Let's go look at my computer community controls here. Oh, it's running a little sluggish. Okay, so this is what we got control settings. Speak, R, open, L2. Sound of silence. So this is the community settings that it's using. So this was default. I didn't do anything here. But it's got 91,000 hours for this one. The one that's just control, easy use, read button description, everything is labeled. What? I get, love that guy, got a smiley face on it. So we'll take a look at it. All right, let's just, let's get in there and try this. All right. Okay, let's get a new game going. See what it looks like inside. But yeah, so far, just to recap, I am using uh, full compatibility mode. Um, and uh, I'm using DirectX and not Vulkan. And uh, so far, we're here. I have not touched the graphics just because that menu seems not very playable so there is a lot of story here a lot of cutscenes. i'm really going to skip through those just because i, I don't want to spoil anything for you but i'll let them run just a little bit so you can see you know what the frame rate and the cutscenes are it depends if they're pre-rendered or not because if they're pre-rendered they should run fine but if they're in the engine you might get some hiccups but yeah this game is uh is one of those games that i think has been very highly touted highly anticipated and highly discussed so i mean the cutscenes look really great who would have thought we would get a brand new baldur's gate in 2023 right i thought that franchise was kind of left to wither but yeah looking pretty good again it's more for me just checking the playable state so let's see if we can skip this so pressing start does skip it so there's some buttons all right so here Okay, so I can use the stick to rotate the round. And this is where you get in your class co class creation. The text I have to tell you is extremely small. So you can do, does the button work there? Nope. So like, you know, like, oh, see like, this is weird. Okay, so certain buttons work like, you can customize it, not available. Title class is a, see, that is weird. Fighting the controls here. I'm not a big fan of that control. Maybe I can go into a different control scheme. Community layout, ultimate Steam Deck experience. Just do it. <laughs> you don't understand what that means. Left joystick. A space, a space key, escape key, R key, wheel down, tab key. I don't know. Let's just try this one and see what this one does. So 
So I can rotate the player here. No control here. Guess I'll have to use this one. Oh, okay, that's back button. Barbarian. Actually, this class looks pretty good. Let's go venture forth. Who do I really love at night? My wife. A dwarf? Oh, can I be a dwarf? That's pretty cool. I do like that. Oh, man. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I was going to choose a barbarian if available. Like, oh, you guess your your actual race. Be a gnome? That's pretty cool. Be an elf. But I'm going to be... I'm going to go back one. Okay, this is... How do I go back? Anyway, let's get in and play the game. See what it's like. Okay, let's go Winter 4. Okay, get another cutscene, which is pretty darn cool. Again, um, no native controller support in the box that I can find. Um, I'm just going to try to go back into options again, though. That guy looks like Cthulhu. <laughs> I don't know what he's supposed to be. Again, not really caught up with the lore of this game or nothing like that, so... Yeah, again, I just wanted to skip that cutscene, and uh, let's get into gameplay, shall we? Hopefully something. Hopefully it doesn't crash. As you can see, the performance up there has been holding strong. It is... Oh, really? My deck is not that hot? It's blowing out a lot of hot hair, yeah. which is which is cool. I mean, I'm, I would kind of expect that, right? All right, so this is the test. All right, so... Here I am. Wow, that world looks really good. Okay, this is how I move my guy around. Okay, left and right, move the world around. I like that. Okay. Oh, okay. Is there an options menu in here? I'm going to save my game. Just to make sure. Save. Got to make sure you save your game, right? Okay, this button does nothing. I'm gonna probably end load game. Quick game, option. Uh, online, visibility, save. Can I scroll this down? Yeah, okay, good. Camera options. Okay, yeah, alright, so, like it is basically base. Alright, what does this do? Oh, okay, it's your map. Okay, so gotta use my trackpad, which I don't mind. I like the scrolling a little bit. If I can zoom in, what does this guy do? Oh, rotate camera, I like that. Alright, let's go. Okay. What is this? This is the pool that Bing came from. Ooh. The parasite now writhing behind your eye. Cool. Okay, so that's your investigation. Cool. Again, I've not like I just want to see how play those intelligence check. Clicked to roll, okay. I love that, it's like D&D. Ooh, I'm not very good, am I? <laughs> I kind of... Oh, failure. Alright. Ooh, look at me. Oh, I thought I chose Dwarf. I didn't. It's not like my character. Did I not do that right? I can reach toward the pool again. Ooh. Scroll that out a bit. A little bit, all right. What's this? Okay, go back into my controller so I can see what the action button is. Ooh, a little bit delay there. All right, so 
scroll wheel up, scroll wheel down, left click, tab key, escape key, so space bar, escape key, R key, F key. Okay, so Y and X should be the action keys. E key is scroll wheel. All right, cool. Let me just mess around with this one a little bit. Okay. Come on, lady. Oh, something over here. Okay, let's go this way. That's where the arrow's pointing. Oh, so you can really zoom in here, which I really like. Man, it's kind of creepy, like, you know? It's hard to find a, a good camera angle that I like so far, so. There you go. I'm sure, I wonder if you can update the controls, like, to have it kind of just the camera follow it. Ooh, is that a dragon? Man, the graphics are amazing on this. Can't reach. All right, so how do I go back? Can't use that. Oh, cool. Come on. Oh, okay, so I am like trapped here. Can I jump across here? Oh, that's not good. Man, the music's beautiful. All right, let's check the map. Can I check the map? We are trapped. We are trapped. Well, that's not very nice. There's nothing. Oh, I love that the voiceover. That work. Okay, I'm gonna help you, lady. Curious. Nope. Oh, there she is. Ooh, gross. This game is not. This game's got some interesting uh, things going on in it. Cool. All right, I figured out there's a jump button right there. <laughs> so now we're gonna enter our first combat mode. So basically you gotta take turns. So it is turn-based combat, but it's pretty, it looks like it's pretty interesting. So you just gotta go through all these tutorials and it tells you when you're finished your combat turn. So basically you got like two people here. So you can move them over here during your combat turn. And then we're gonna look at some villains, right? So they're on the mini map right here with the red dots. And you can actually use your jump too if you want. Like if I want to jump over there, I can just press the jump button and jump over if I wanted to, stuff like that. So you get each turn with your person. So I'm gonna bring him here. I'm gonna hand a turn on this new character I found. And I'm gonna bring her here, my main character. And then you can see that. And you can end your turn and you're going to see a battle commence now. Oh, i got to take my little dude over. My little guy, my brain, I found out how to do it. So, basically, um, it's kind of a little bit of bug in the game that it didn't allow me to... There's a creature right here. So, I'm going to put, end the turn right here for him. And there's the creatures. And they're going to have their turn to attack now and move into position. So, let's go in here. And the first one I'm going to do is... I'm gonna jump this person up on higher ground, if I can get up here. I'm hoping I can land right there, which I should be able to. So they're gonna jump up there, and then I'm gonna put an attack in, and I'm gonna do a, a rush attack of this person right here. Uh, oh, sorry. And I should be able to rush this person. And then end the turn. All right, and this one here, she's gonna do a fireball. Boom. And I'm gonna take her down. Then I'm gonna end my turn. So it's pretty straightforward. The combat's really fun, actually. I'm just gonna move him over here. I don't know what he does, but 
and end his turn. Now, oh, he got me with a, that fire demon. I'm gonna sc scroll in a little bit so you can see. All right, I'm going to do a pummel strike. And scroll over a bit. And there you go. Oh, oh, I didn't get him. And can I get another strike in, I wonder? Should be able to. Oh, I guess not. Oh, I missed him. Oh, that was my fault. So just getting used to the combat. The text is really small, so it's like, it's really easy to miss these action buttons here. So I'm gonna put a jump on her now, get the high ground, gonna jump her up here. All right, let's get up there. And then I'm gonna use a strike. Not I'm gonna use my magic on this one. Probably should use my magic. Use my axe. Yeah, so it's pretty cool. Oh, got him. There's one more down here. So combat is really fun and really playable with this. Again, do I recommend playing on the deck? Probably not. I gotta be honest with you, I really don't. I don't know what you do, dude. So I'm just gonna put you over there, get you out of the way. Brain. But they're flayed. They're turning people into some type of creatures. All right, so I'm gonna use poison mage. I don't know what that is. Can I attack with that? Oh, I got a, oh, I put a poison on me. I'm gonna do one end this straight. Oh, I can't go there. I'm gonna have to jump down. Which I like this. Oh, okay, there you go. And I'm gonna do one end this straight. Nice. So yeah, com combat is really, really straightforward. And you can loot too, right? To the helm, yeah, because you're on a boat, <laughs> a very creepy looking boat, so so you got to keep moving up, move your characters up and stuff like that. So overall, it is really, oh, what's this? Oh, cool, cool. Healing? Yeah, yeah, healing thing. So you got potions down here too you can take, and like this is a fire, so if I wanted to do that, I could cast it, but I don't want to. So if I wanted to throw it, I could throw it, which is cool. But you know, it's pretty cool. And you can do that outside of your combat tour. But overall, yeah, runs great on deck. It's just controls. I'm hoping that they update it with control support, which I'm, I'm pretty sure they're gonna do because it's going in on console. So they should just port the console controls over here and it'll work great. But yeah, that's just a very first introduction into is it playable or not. So um, also gonna go into my main options. And the reason I couldn't see the graphics is because it was hidden by my performance bar. Which happens sometimes, so, so you can turn that turn that off if you want. And then you go up, and this is the, the video graphics right here. So, you know, this is what it's default running on. So you got gameplay graphics. You can increase your text size, which is important for me. So... So you just grab this down and should be, uh, sorry, it should be under UI probably, interface, yeah. There you go, and so you can increase your text size if you want. Okay, and then like that, so it's pretty straightforward. But yeah, you're trying to get out to the helm and, and stuff like that. So overall, first impression is a really cool game. Probably would highly recommend it. If you're gonna play it on deck, wait for the, uh, if you don't have a mouse and keyboard connect to your deck, wait until you get a full control, uh, console controller type on this, or go in and again, explore the, this is lagging for some reason, the, uh, the menu. Go in and take a look at controller community settings. You might find a really good one. Like apparently this is an, the number one is this one right here, so you can apply that one, man. Have fun with the game. Once again, please consider subscribing, smashing that like button. I'm gonna do a follow-up video when I get out of this main tutorial area. And uh, yeah, I'll probably do quite a few videos on this because this, I've been waiting for a really lengthy, fun RPG that I'm familiar with. Bye, everyone.